Hi everyone, so today's social skill is being respectful. So be respectful. Let's get started. So respect. You respect someone or something for their abilities, qualities, or achievements. Respect doesn't, doesn't have to come naturally. It is something you earn. Respect means that you accept everybody for who they are, even if they're different from you or you don't agree with them. Respect the feelings, wishes, rights, or traditions of others. How do you show respect? Okay, so these are some examples of how you show respect. Let's start with the greens. Do what you are supposed to do. Pay attention. Help others. Apologize if you hurt someone. Compliment others. Leave others alone if that is what they want. Remember, be polite. For example, say please and thank you. Follow the rules. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Do not talk back to adults. Talk out your problems. Remember, respect is a two-way street. So in order for you to uh, get respect, right here, in order for you to get respect, you need to give respect. So it's a cycle. So respect, examples of respect. Speaking politely when making a request. Not making fun of others. Taking care of property. Asking permission to borrow something making compromises, and listening, listening to others' point of view. So always respect yourself, respect others, and respect your school. Respect every person matters. So I'm going to show you a quick video of respect. How's your lunch, Chris? Uh, it smells great. Mrs. Harris, the lunch lady, was really nice. She even noticed my new shirt. Oh, she didn't say anything to me. In fact, Miss Harris seemed a little grumpy when I asked for food. Hmm. Huh. Maybe you didn't use polite words when you asked for it. Really? How did you ask for your food? Well, when I got to the front of the lunch line, Mrs. Harris was facing the other way. I said, excuse me, Mrs. Harris. And she turned around and asked me what I wanted to eat for lunch. So I asked, May I have some chicken, carrots, and yogurt, please? She told me, yes, you may, and then put lots of food on my tray. I said, thank you very much. And then she said, you're welcome. That's a nice shirt, young man. She was very nice. Wow, you're right. She was nice to you. How did you ask for your food, Peter? I said, give me some fish, green beans, and yogurt. And then she gave me my food. But she didn't say anything to me. Hmm. Peter, she was probably grumpy because you didn't use polite words. Oh, but which words are polite words? Well, words like please, thank you, and excuse me. How do I use them? Can I use them anytime? Sure. When you ask for something like food, you should say, may I please have some food? And always say thank you when someone does something nice for you. Oh, and what about excuse me? When you need to get someone's attention, but that person is busy, you should say excuse me to let them know that you would like to talk to them. Just like you said to Miss Harris. Wow, Chris, 
You know so much about being polite. Thanks for helping me. Hey, I just used a polite word. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, way to go, Peter. All right. Can we please eat our lunch now? I'm hungry. Yes, we may. <laughs> <laughs> So always remember, be respectful and use polite words when talking to others. This is your social skill for the week. Go ahead and practice at home.